Hey, we're at the Fusiner Center at the uh, Robot Love show. We've got a piece here called Subdrum, which is a drum kit made out of uh, speaker components and also is a sound system. But uh, the show has got some incredible art, so uh, if you get a chance, I uh, hope you'll come visit us. has been in my head for like almost a year and a half now. So I was kind of thinking about it. The idea like first happened like in a sketch. I was seeing a lot of palettes lying around and I thought that maybe it would be cool to build a structure out of the palettes and to have fur like peeking out from the different slats and you could like touch it and everything. And that was kind of like the first like seed of the idea. by like nature being the center of us and kind of like breaking through the deprogramming that we're all programmed with through life and through the matrix that we're all stuck into. Realizing how to say no and how to break that free of that and just kind of turning back into our nature. So the wire there just kind of sprouts into trees, which to me represents nature. So. I do um, long exposure photography and I shoot pictures of things that are deep, deep, deep in space. This one's about 700 light years away and this one's about 400 light years away. So th that light has just been traveling for millions of years until it reaches Earth. I love uh, Robot Love because it uh, keeps people creative, thinking. A lot of interaction going on in the museum. I love Robot Love just because how many different styles and creatives come together to create such an amazing experience here and on the Space Coast where it's like kind of hard to get your artwork flowing right. here. But this kind of brings everybody together in a way and all their different styles and mediums of art.